This one took a blow and it's completely ripped off and destroyed right in this corner. I have a Jeep Wrangler here. This one took a blow to this lower cross member on the frame and it's completely ripped off and destroyed right in this corner. Luckily, they sell this cross member separately. So it should be pretty straightforward to replace. First, I'm gonna grab it and roughly pull it all out. Then I will get our measuring system out and I wanna measure the rest of the frame just to make sure nothing else is shifted on it. And assuming the rest of the frame is good, I will go ahead and cut this off and get the new one on, get it welded on. So that's about the best this thing's gonna pull out. This thing is very stout and it does not wanna move. But I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna make sure that this frame doesn't have any diamond in it, which is when one side is pushed back, this whole side of the frame is pushed back, which is possible with a hit like this. So I'm gonna measure the frame and check that. And then I also have our estimator looking for this bracket right here, because this did not come on this new piece. So once I Make sure this frame is good, and then we will go from there. First, I have to match the measuring system to the vehicle. So I'm gonna go to five points in the center section of the vehicle. And this will also tell me right away if the frame, if the center of the frame has a diamond in it or not. Now, the measuring system's matched to the vehicle. It doesn't show diamond in the frame, so I'm gonna come up here and measure the front. It turns out this frame doesn't have diamond in it, but it is pushed over this way, where it's sitting kind of like that. So I went ahead and I locked it down to the frame bench and I'm gonna grab the frame and I'm gonna try to square it up and bring both sides over about 12 millimeters. So I have this side of the frame sitting exactly where it's supposed to be. This side I need to move about three more millimeters. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna cut this cross member in half and get this out of the way. That way whenever I pull this the rest of the way, it's not fighting this side and moving this side as well. I have this frame all squared up now, so I am gonna go ahead and start trimming both of these sides of this cross member off.
damn cutoff wheel caught my thumb and it kind of, I don't even know how it happened, sucked my thumb in there somehow. It'll be alright though. One last thing, I have this bracket that goes right in here. It mounts this pump right here. I'm gonna go ahead and get that welded on. Then I will undercoat all of this frame piece and this one will be wrapped up. I'll send it over to our mechanic to do an alignment and they can put it all together and get it finished up. 